Hey y'all, and welcome to the Sprinkle Factory YouTube channel where we cover everything culinary. This is Chef Sprinkle, and I'm back with another delicious recipe. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below and join our Sprinkle Squad. Today, we will be making apple pie cheesecake bars with white Hennessy caramel. This recipe is great for the season and even perfect for your thanksgiving table let's get right into it y'all the first thing that we are going to be making is going to be our cheesecake layer super simple we're going to whip up three eight ounce bars of room temperature cream cheese room temperature only so that it's easier to mix we want to add in our sugar it's very important to add the sugar um, with the cream cheese versus adding the eggs or anything before it because the granules of the sugar actually help smooth out the cream cheese. After that, guys, we're going to add in two eggs. We're going to make sure we add them in one at a time and allow the first one to mix in and then go ahead and add in the second. We want to give this some delicious um, sweet flavor. So we want to add in some vanilla extract, of course. It's going to make everything super delicious and bring everything together. Uh, we do want to make sure that you scrape down the side of your bowls. It's very important. Beat it until it is smooth. And then we are all done. Simple as that with the cheesecake layer. We are going to set our cream cheese mixture to the side and we are going to start working on our crust. Now our crust is not a traditional graham cracker cheesecake crust, you guys. We are literally going to be making a buttery, tender, crispy shortbread crust. It's super delicious with everything we have going on in this recipe. So as you see, we started out with two cups of flour. We are going to add in a half a cup of brown sugar and of course our just a sprinkle honey butter cinnamon roll. Of course, if you guys ever need to find your very own bottle of either the sweet seasoning or the savory seasoning, the description and website, or excuse me, the website link is always going to be found in the description with, of course, a guide to ordering. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in two cups of, excuse me, two sticks of softened salted butter. We're going to get that worked in with our flour. I usually start with two forks until the butter is pretty well coated with the flour so that it doesn't immediately start to stick to my gloves. And then I kind of ditch the forks and I put all of my fingers in and get everything nice and worked together into a nice size crumb. Once you're finished mixing, you guys, all the butter and the flour should have become one and you should have a nice, soft, tender dough. Super, super simple. Everything about this recipe is super simple, but always delicious. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab a 9 by 13 pan and we're going to spray it with some Baker's Joy. If you don't have Baker's Joy, just make sure you butter your pan so that everything will come out easily. Then we're going to dump in our shortbread cookie crumbs and we're going to press it down and we are going to throw it in the oven. Once we have that all pressed in nice and even, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make our streusel crumb topping for the top of our cheesecake bars. Of course, all the ingredients are at the bottom of the screen, you guys. And of course, we did add some more, just a sprinkle honey butter cinnamon roll. It's perfect in any recipe um, that requires cinnamon notes, vanilla notes, nutmeg. It literally has everything that you need in the bottle so the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to get everything incorporated we're going to get the butter kind of chopped up with the oats the flour the brown sugar it's going to make a very crispy buttery sweet delicious topping for our apple pie cheesecake bars Thank you. 
The next part, of course, is self-explanatory. We need our apple pie element for our apple pie cheesecake bars. So what I have is three um, our three Granny Smith apples. We're going to peel those, you guys. We're going to cut them into cubes. I would say the cube should be just a bit smaller than an inch, um, maybe three quarters of an inch, to make sure that you have room to evenly distribute them throughout the whole um, pan. Now, of course, we're going to season our apples up. We're going to season everything in layers. So every single thing, every component, every layer, every texture is seasoned and delicious in our recipe. So the next thing that we're gonna do, super simple, we're gonna assemble. We have our shortbread crust. We also have our cheesecake filling. On top of that, we're gonna spread out our apples evenly, and then we're gonna put our streusel, our crumbs on top, and then we are going to bake it in the oven for 50 to 55 minutes. Super simple, y'all. Like I said, everything is going to come together so delicious. As long as you season each and every layer, and not just with the just a sprinkle, but also with love. It has no choice but to be totally delicious. Now, while that's baking and becoming super delicious and bubbly and <sighs> amazing, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start working on our caramel. Probably 50% of you clicked on the video because you wanted to see the Hennessy caramel and see how it popped off. But what we're going to do is super simple, as always. Four tablespoons of butter. We're going to add in our brown sugar. We're going to add in our heavy cream simple as that vanilla salt we're going to bring everything together bring it up to a slow boil allow it to cook and thicken and then we're going to add in our Hennessy once it does that Now, once this comes to a boil, we want to make sure that we um, follow the next instructions very carefully. When you're working with alcohol, it is highly flammable. So you want to make sure that if you are at home, that you take it off of the heat, allow it to cool down before you add this, especially if you have a gas stove, y'all. It's very, very, very dangerous, okay? So just make sure you do that and then add your Hennessy.
Now, once we get all of the Hennessy worked in, you guys, you want to allow this to cool um, for a little bit. Again, remember to make sure you take it off of the heat before you add the alcohol. Okay, so just put the caramel to the side, let it cool off. Of course, we have our delicious, beautiful, golden brown, crispy, creamy, everything you need cheesecake bars and just allow them to cool a little bit you know of course before you cut them but before they cool all the way you want to make sure that you drizzle on some caramel so it can kind of settle and nestle into the crumbs and become one with the whole flavor party Super simple and in true Sprinkle Factory fashion, let us slow it down with a slow-mo. Just like that, y'all have made apple pie cheesecake bars with white Hennessy caramel. Of course, y'all can use regular Hennessy as well to be perfect. Um, just like that, we are done. These are guaranteed to be a hit on your Thanksgiving table. Trust me, try them. As my grandma will always say, this recipe is finger licking time. Love y'all so much. I know it's been a long time. I won't stay away that long next time. Thank you for watching. Share with all of your family, friends. Let them know what we're doing on this channel. And as always, I'll see y'all next time.